Hi, this is Mark from Orange Rocket. Hope everyone's doing okay. Welcome back to our channel. And we're continuing today um, our story around the customer journey. So if you remember, um, we uh, started talking about um, everything that influences the customer journey. So we as an agency often get asked to diagnose the end results of a customer journey going wrong. So, you know, usually that's a result of sales declining or other factors around fewer orders or lower average order value or those kind of things. And that's the lagging indicator. That's the result of something going on that isn't right in the customer journey. And so what we often try and do is break down that customer journey to say, what do the customers see and where is it going wrong? Are they not seeing the research results? Are they not being inclined to click? If they do click, are they not buying? And at various points, we can identify what the issues are. And I'm not gonna dig into the numbers per se about how we determine that, but really just look at the journey. Now, we in previous videos, we talked about indexing and ranking. We talked about what people see before they make a click. And now we're gonna talk about what people see uh, when they make the click. So let me just um, move that out of the way. So what you can see here is that we've, we've typed in a keyword, our product is indexed and it's ranking. This is the product I'm gonna look at. Um, slightly different from the last one on the video, but this is the product I'm gonna look at. Apparently it's the best seller. And I'm gonna click on it. Now let's not forget when we do the pre-click stuff, we understand that we're missing some of the title. That's important to think about. We've only got the first image, we can't see the others. We've got a little bit of information about ratings or reviews more importantly, not ratings and then how many have bought last month, that's fairly new, and then obviously the price. Some of this other stuff like here, down here, and that, that's just my tools that um, are coming up rather than what the average customer would see. So we, we click in here and what we see is obviously title and images are the first thing that generally people see. So we get the full title here. I, I don't know where it finished, but that's important. You know, I'm quite lazy as well as a buyer. I might only read the first two lines and then you know, move on. So I just happened to cross, I was looking at this earlier, this is an absolute masterclass, <coughs> excuse me, in how to do it. Um, fantastic images, look at that. You can see, you know, first image, great, and then you've got the sizing chart. Remember, people aren't buying products, they're buying solutions to problems. In this case, I as a buyer haven't got a dog bed or my dog bed needs replacing. Um, in which case I'm trying to make a decision whether this is the right solution for my problem. Um, and so anything that you can do to aid someone's um, uh, buying decision, the easier it will be for them to buy. So we need to make it easy for them to buy. So we need to look at benefits, not just features. So look at that, the lifestyle images really make a difference. It, you know, it's all nice and cozy. We all love to have our dogs being cozy, um, comfy, plush fabric. Look at those infographics, um, anti-scratch bottom. So, you know, it won't scratch your, uh, your wooden floor if it's on a, on a floor um, and then it's washable. And then we've got the video and then if influencers can add videos here as well. So fantastic information um, that uh, that is that is influences. You, you might click on the uh, brand store. I'm not going to go to that um, today, but um, we've got all of that information in so far. And then what we see on the listing that might also influence the buy is the vouchers. You know, the five percent off, twenty percent voucher. Here's quite important to think about the recommended retail price for $34.99. Then we've got a strike through 21, 30%, 37% off. Now you can achieve that by selling, uh, listing it at the $34.99 and then making sure you make some sales at that price. And then once you've made sales at that price and then you reduce it, you'll, you should, not always, but you should get the strike through. Um, and then this, this more information around the discount. You've got to make sales at the higher price. And then obviously we get the variations. 
and then we get uh, the bullet points. In my opinion, the bullet points are becoming less and less relevant. Um, people are sort of, particularly the long writing ones like this, it's really the images um, that people tend to skim. Um, and I think on, if I remember rightly, on mobile, uh, the images and the A plus content comes first. So also what we've got to think about when we as, certainly as an agency, um, that um, advertises on listings, we have to think about, you know, are we um, serving the client in the best way in terms of protecting their brand? So when we see here this listing, if I'm, um, if I'm a, an advertiser, then obviously I need to think about um, this, which is either a DSP ad or a, a sponsored display. I think it's DSP. Um, and then you've got these here. You've got these brands here, which again, um, sponsored, uh, sponsored display. You've got um, down here, you've got the products related. So there's a lot of um, opportunities for the customer to go elsewhere. So if you've got other products in your brand, then um, you need to do it and look at this, you know, as advertising themselves. If you've got other variations in your brand, make sure you're trying to protect yourself. Four stars and above, here's some um, potential alternatives and then you go into the what's called the brand story I'll do a separate video on storefronts and brand stories but this is a really great brand story so this can appear on all your products it tells you a little bit about the brand itself so if you've got a really good story around um, what your brand stands for because don't forget Amazon's becoming more brand orientated it's all about promoting brands um, and a lot of the tools that we're, we, we are given, um, particularly with brand registration, is around promoting our brand values. And then we've got the traditional, what we would call the product description, which is, you know, A plus enhanced brand content, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you can see here, lovely images, another video, um, more lovely, beautiful, look at this. And you can just go round the various images here in the A plus content. Another one of the, of the um, click here and here. You can see the size recommendations. That was one of the charts in the standard images. Um, and then you've got the questions and answers. Absolutely stunning video listing. And then obviously you can scroll down to um, others and you've got some, you know, you've got some other various other ads, product display ads, um, could be a sponsored product a targeting ad. Um, and then you've obviously got the images. So if I come back here. So regarding the post click, obviously I've, I've gone into a little bit about these um, different ads here. And so if, you know, if you think about the, the customer journey, um, what you need to think about as a seller is at what point am I falling down? Because, you know, if I'm not showing in the search results, if I'm not considered relevant for that search term, then all of this is irrelevant. If I'm not showing in the search results or I'm not search or I'm not showing high enough in the search results, I'm on page three, then again, all of this is irrelevant because no one will ever get to see my um, my, my product. And then if we are successful in getting someone to um, show in the search results, if we go back here, if we're successful in getting to um, show in the search results where someone has the opportunity to click, what is it that influences the click? You know, again, what I was saying earlier, you've got the strike through, you've got the, the you've got the 5% um, off, you don't see the 20% voucher, you see um, the 5% the there obviously reviews and ratings and things like that. Um, you have limited control over those in the short term. Obviously this brand has been around a while if they've got 2,400 reviews. Um, so remember, um, if before they click, um, then you've got to think about what things that I can influence in order to get that click. And then once they, you've got that click and they've, they've actually clicked on it and they've gone onto the listing, what are the things I can influence the buy, the add to cart? Um, and we'll cover that in a minute. Um, in a, in a, sorry, not in a minute, in a 
next video, but we'll then cover, you know, what are the things I can do in terms of my images, my listings, my A plus content, etc, 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 to get the, um, the actual add to cart. I hope that's helpful. Um, look forward to speaking to you again soon and take care. Thank you very much. Bye bye.